गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू गुड मॉर्निंग सर इज द पीपीटी इज विजिबल यस सर In previous lecture, we thought about lead acid battery. Today our topic is nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride battery. First, nickel cadmium battery is introduced since 1950, and the nickel cadmium, uh, sorry, nickel metal hydride battery. is introduced in 1995 in nickel cadmium battery the positive or say positive plate is nickel oxide hydroxide and negative plate is cadmium in nickel cadmium battery the positive plate is nickel oxide hydroxide and the negative plate is cadmium केमिकल रिएक्शन इज द कैडमियम कैडियम कैडमियम रिएक्ट विथ हाइड्रोक्साइड आयन Between two plates, the anode and cathode are say positive and negative. There is a separator which is actually calcium, uh, sorry, uh, potassium hydroxide. So hydroxide ion is present on separator, which reacts with cadmium and produce cadmium hydroxide and to electron when the cadmium uh, nickel cadmium battery with discharge the reaction happened like cadmium react with hydroxide ion and produce cadmium hydroxide and produce electron and in positive plate nickel oxide hydroxide plus 2h2 plus the reaction this to make a hydroxide plus to make h minus and if we write down the overall reaction then we can see to make a 
oxide hydroxide plus cadmium plus two H two O. That's right. We need the hydroxide plus cadmium hydroxide. This reaction is during the discharging. At the time of discharging, this reaction happens. And whenever we do that, recharge the uh, nickel cadmium battery, the opposite reaction or the reverse reaction is happening. That means uh, during the discharging from left to right, the reaction is happening. And during the recharge, the reaction is right to left and what will happen in negative plate and though the negative plate is of cadmium so we can easily see that uh, the cadmium which react with hydroxide ion and produce cadmium hydroxide it's it's negative plate after discharging and produce to electron and in positive plate what will happen nickel oxide hydroxide reacts with water and to electron produce nickel hydroxide and OH minus ion and the OH minus ion is basically what actually we get the OH minus ion from the separator and it's basically alkaline base and mainly it is potassium hydroxide it is it is yes sir. yes sir what do you happen do you understand yes sir there is basically nickel cadmium battery the positive plate of nickel oxide okay. hydroxide and the negative plate is made of cadmium and the reaction during the discharge time the reaction will happen from left to right, right to left left to right during the discharge time and when we charge that that battery then the reaction will from right to left and though the cadmium is toxic material, so we prefer basically nickel metal hybrid battery. We replace the cadmium plate with such a metal alloy which can absorb hydrogen. Though the cadmium metal is a toxic metal so we replace that metal or say that plate by a metal alloy which can absorb the hydrogen easily so by this we produce or say we manufacture nickel metal hybrid battery and the reaction is like This is negative plate basically because uh, in previous battery we made the negative plate of cadmium and here we made the negative plate of uh, such a metal or say such a metal alloy which can absorb hydrogen agent. 
and in positive plate the nickel of hydroxide H minus one equation. This reaction actually left to right reaction is happened during the charging and that during the discharging the opposite reaction will happen. This reaction is actually during the charging time. At the charging time this reaction will happen uh, in negative plate we can see the metal is react with water and produce MAH and metal hydrogen metal, metal is absorbed in the hydrogen and produce MH and OH minus ion. And this OH minus ion is react with nickel hydroxide and produce nickel oxide hydroxide and water. This reaction is actually this left to right reaction is during the charging time and when we the discharge then right to left reaction will happen i hope you will understand how this What are the advantages of nickel cadmium battery? The main disadvantage is the cadmium, so, though it is a toxic metal. So, first we study the advantages of nickel cadmium battery, then we study about the disadvantage. The nickel cadmium battery that can be charged with very fast or say. Uh, ultra fast charge we can do on nickel cadmium battery that means the charging time is very less and the good load performance long shelf life that means when we store a nickel, nickel cadmium battery it discharge rate is very less or say actually when we store a nickel cadmium battery and it can store for a long time and uh, we can store the nickel cadmium battery as well as transport it very easily when we actually store the nickel cadmium battery there is no necessary to regulator control or say regulator monitoring we have to just store the nickel cadmium batteries and left it and it has good temperature performance that means uh, actually nickel cadmium battery uh, the operating temperature is in wide range and economically basically in point of view of economical we can say that the nickel cadmium battery is quite less cost that means the cost of nickel battery nickel cadmium battery is less and the availability say so we can say the availability of this nickel cadmium battery is very high or say wide range and sizes of nickel cadmium battery we are available in respect to 
advantage we now discuss about the disadvantages what are the disadvantages it has low specific energy compared to actually lithium ion battery with newer system means with compared to lithium ion because the lithium ion batteries are actually the modern trend and nickel cadmium battery has a memory effect the memory effect means suppose we have charging and discharging a nickel cadmium battery suppose we have not fully discharged the nickel cadmium battery and we are doing repetitively that after some time the battery will not discharge fully and discharge up to that level this is the memory effect that means repeatedly up to that level we discharge the battery then it actually memorized how much or say how which level to discharge up to that level the battery will discharge and to eliminate this effect we have to forcefully discharge the battery to the full level and previously i tell you that the cadmium is a toxic metal so we have to dispose this cat battery very safely otherwise the cadmium is harmful to humanities of all other animals. And though we actually store uh, the nickel cadmium battery at discharge mode, and uh, so we have to recharge or uh, after actually we have to recharge that battery when we have to use and the voltage level and the last point is the voltage level nickel cadmium battery the voltage level is 1.2 voltage that means if we try to increase the voltage level or say suppose we need a 24 voltage supply so we have to arrange or say we have to make a series large number of battery in modern technology the lithium ion battery the battery voltage level is 3.7 so with respect to nickel uh, with respect to lithium ion the nickel cadmium battery voltage level is low so we have to arrange more battery in series to achieve high voltage now it goes to lithium ion battery in lithium ion battery basically it is introduced in or say uh, commercially we get this battery in 2000 in the year 2000 and the most of uh, Actually, lithium ion batteries are used in mobile phone, laptops, and say electric vehicles. All these actually, uh, where we actually transport the batteries, or say in case of portability, if we thought about the portability, we have to move one uh, one device from one place to another. In this case. We actually prefer lithium ion battery and uh, previously i also tell you that the voltage level of the lithium ion battery is high that means 3.7 so the to get the higher voltage we need less battery to get the higher voltage
actually what we do uh, we have actually use uh, one positive plate another negative plate and another is separate the positive plate is made of lithium or say lithium metal oxide and the negative plate is basically of graphite and the in between two there we take a separator and after that we made the battery of lithium ion it may be cylindrical form it may be a the shape of the battery may be cylindrical form or may be in rectangle form you can see in uh, actually the positive plate uh, the uh, lithium are stored in aluminium sheet and the graphite are placed in copper sheet in lithium ion battery the uh, plate are made easily on aluminium sheet and copper sheet At the time of discharging, In positive electrode, lithium and cobalt oxide is react and produce lithium cobalt oxide. In negative plate, lithium right. right. We write the full reaction. At the time of discharge. The left to right reaction will happen and at the time of charging the reaction of right to left will happen. When we actually discharge the lithium ion battery then what will happen in positive plate the cobalt oxide and lithium ion will react and produce lithium cobalt oxide and in negative plate lithium graphite will produce or say separated and get separated and produce graphite and lithium ion the negative plate is made by the graphite and the positive plate is made by lithium metal oxide and here we actually use the metal of cobalt
the left to right reaction is at the time of discharging and right to left is at the time of charging and now What are the advantages of lithium ion battery? It is lightweight, have higher energy density other than other rechargeable batteries. The nickel cadmium also rechargeable battery, and mainly we use the lithium ion because the advantages are with respect to nickel cadmium. The lightweight, the lithium ion are lightweight. It has higher energy density. Actually, uh, charging loss in lithium ion battery is less. And in, in case of lithium ion battery, the charging cycle, uh, charging and discharging cycle is more than the nickel cadmium. And it has no memory effect. That means it not to be discharged fully. Actually, in case of lithium ion battery, oh, how much you want to discharge that battery, you may discharge or after that you may recharge that battery. It has no memory effect. So no need to worry. And the operating voltage in case of lithium ion the operating voltage is approximately 3.7 volt so if we want to make the higher voltage or to uh, if we want to get higher voltage then we can easily series the lithium ion battery and adding less number of battery we get high voltage and the main disadvantage is that in case of lithium ion battery, if the separator in between positive plane and negative plane get vanished, then there is a very much risk of bursting. You have heard sometimes that lithium ion battery or say mobile cell battery get burst. It's due to the breakage of the separator between positive plate and negative plate and it is costly compared to other battery say lead acid battery uh, with respect to that it is quite costly and if we discharge the lithium ion battery fully or say complete after complete discharge the lithium ion battery it will get damaged or say we cannot recharge that battery and uh, the lithium ion battery is basically heat sensitive because in high temperature uh, the uh, lithium ion battery degrades very quickly and at that time the separator will get damaged and it can burst so in case of lithium ion battery we have to remember that we don't have to expose the lithium ion battery to heat and in case of lifespan uh, or say uh, if we see the lifespan of lithium bat ion battery it lifespan is two to three years and uh, and in lithium ion battery the uh, 
most disadvantages is not available in standard sites like double a cd triple a like that the lithium ion battery are actually it has a special design which is basically a design for to design for uh, the mobile or say it is basically not used in the size of triple a or double a like that it has special purpose of use so it make a special purpose right? It is it is it yes sir. which battery is better sir lithium lithium ion why yes uh, having high storage capacity 3.7 volt and Volta we can increase this level, level. The voltage level uh, of that battery is high. Good. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, we can increase uh, very less uh, number of uh, battery connected in series. If we want to increase the voltage level, suppose we need 12 voltage or say 24 voltage. We have to add less number of battery in series. And it does compared to nickel cadmium. And the main disadvantage of nickel cadmium is the cadmium. It is very toxic metal. So we did yes. not expose it in anywhere. We have to actually expose it very carefully. Sir, uh, nickel cadmium battery is generally used in uh, uh, what? Yes. Okay. Watch and uh, hearing aid. We using hearing aid. Sir, okay. which having uh, one point five volt here. We study one point two volt. We need uh, less voltage battery in case of hearing aid. So we use nickel cadmium. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, in our uh, bikes, motorcycle, which type of battery is used for horn? This is lead acid type. Lead acid. Yeah. Because the cost okay. of the lead acid battery is very less with respect to or with compared to nickel cadmium or lithium ion. So we use lead acid type. Okay, sir. And the disadvantage of the my actually what is the disadvantage of lithium ion battery? Oh, cadmium is toxic. Uh... The it is for the nickel cadmium. And what is the disadvantage? The main disadvantage of lithium ion. What is the main disadvantage of lithium ion? If it com complete, completely uh, discharge, yes. uh, then you it, it will it may not be recharged. Yes, sir. And another uh, property is bursting property. If the temperature rises of that battery, if the temperature rises of that battery, it may be burst. Because uh, at the high temperature, the separator will dissolve or say separator break. So the positive plate and the negative plate get close or say touch. So 
at that time the machine may be burst this is the main disadvantages of lithium ion that means the temperature rises in case of high temperature or say in case of a high temperature ambient we cannot use the lithium ion battery. Okay, now we take the attendance. Deepak. Yes, sir. Ritesh. Yes, sir. Priti. Yes, sir. Anish. Yes, sir. Aksai. Yes, sir. Sonosri. Yes, sir. Abhinash. Yes, sir. Okay. You may leave now if you have no any question regarding this. You may leave. Have you any question regarding this? If you don't have any question, then you may leave. 